Peace be upon you all. I am Zebali and welcome back to my channel. I am the author of Beyond Our Melancholy, a spiritual romance novel. And today we are going to organize my bookshelf. I wanted to do this video for quite a long time, but I had no proper idea how I wanted to organize my bookshelf. And uh, now when I have some kind of idea how I want my bookshelf to be, so I decided to make a video of it. Most of you know that I have two bookshelves. One is for properly for English books and one is for religious books and uh, mostly Urdu books. So this one behind me is the bookshelf for Urdu books. So I'm going to organize that first and then we will move to my English bookshelf. So without further ado, let's get started. So basically I am making a section of two books like the books with English languages are on one side, the Urdu books are on one side so it becomes easy for me to classify them. The thing about my bookshelf is with books there are so many other things that I have put there so sometimes that's why I have much less space but I guess it's everyone's problem we all do that so the amount of bookmarks can tell you how many books I buy and these are my bookmarks it's time for cleaning if you are seeing this it's made by me I got these four bottles I don't know there was some juice or shake and I love that bottle so i painted them and then i have written a coat on it and the coat is made by me trust the change in your life <laughs> so now comes the part of organizing the books this is my english books and i'm keeping it aside so these all are my these all are my Urdu books so now we have to organize them yep let's get started so basically I am thinking of uh, putting some books vertically and some books horizontally so that uh, the space is well covered and uh, yes it looks nice let's see much remaining thing was this these small short dua books some of them were gifted by my daddy and uh, they are in our house from since my birth I guess or earlier than that so yes and these are some wrapper of gifts I have received 
So yes, I like to keep them in my bookshelf. So I guess I am pretty much happy with my design. I don't know what can be done here more, but I guess yes, it's good. It's organized, and I can access every book. So my Urdu bookshelf is organized and now we are moving towards my English bookshelf. So now it's our time to organize my English bookshelf. So I have decided to put all the fictions here and this place will be for non fictions. So yeah, firstly we will remove all the books from both the shelves and then we will organize them. the part of organizing them as fiction and non-fiction mm -hmm. yes, yeah. also I was thinking of putting some of them as um, you can say some as horizontal and some as vertical but that I have to see how it looks like This is how a writer's desk looked like when she has cleaned it a day before as it was a blender. I had decided to put this in the bookshelf too because yes if it is in my eyesight I will definitely read it. So. guys it's all done you can see my bookshelf so a closer look so this section is about non-fictions purely and this one here is about fictions clearly and yes there are two books those are from non-fictions but yes I have read them so I have put it like that and those books that 
haven't found their place in my bookshelf are here and and you can see my writing desk it's clean else it's quite cluttered many times but i just cleaned it yesterday yes and yes so i'm pretty much happy of my design so i think you enjoyed this video we have organized my urdu shelf we have organized my english shelf and uh, yes it was good it was a good experience for me i have first time done it on camera and yes you can see my bookshelf yes so that's all i have got for you today i hope you enjoyed this video Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. It's about reading, it's about writing, it's about my bookshelves. It's about everything a reader or a writer loves. So I will meet you next time. So until next time, bye.